Hello and welcome to Parrot Show. I'm here with the Miss Nigerian Island 2011, Miss Ewoma Ogoro, and the MNI Miss Tourism 2011, Miss Damilola Ocean. I know she will correct me about the pronunciation of her name, <laughs> but she's here. So how are you doing, Damilola? I'm fine, thank you. All right, and how are you doing, the woman? I'm good, thanks. All right, it's good to have you with me. Well, the only reason why the two beautiful girls are with me this afternoon is that we are going to be talking about a very important issue, an issue that has to do with the youths an issue that has to do with teenagers, most especially the girls, teenage pregnancy. So we're trying to find out why a lot of our young girls are getting pregnant when they are supposed to be in school studying their books. Miss Nigerian Island, let me start with you. Mm -hmm. You are a young girl yeah. and you are the ambassador and role model to the youths. Why do you think that a lot of girls, young girls, that are supposed to be in school are getting pregnant? Um, there's a lot of different issues that you could debate on that, on why the reasons girls are getting pregnant at a young age. But for me, I think like it's peer pressure. There's a lot of peer pressure when a girl sees her friend doing something, getting pregnant, she might get, oh, maybe I should do this as well. And it's a lack of knowledge as well. Some young girls don't know about contraception or... Um, um, being protected and then um, yeah that's what I think um, what do you think uh, Dami Lola um, I would think it's based on lack of communication between the parents and the teenager it is the fault we can say the fault is on one side is on both sides because the parents might lack courage to have a proper communication with a child why the child might be disobedient to the parents so it could be both ways okay mm -hmm. do you think that there's a problem when a young child that is supposed to be listening to the parents according when she's just growing up at that age a girl is supposed to be th that one of the best friends she's supposed to have is her mom and then her dad is supposed to be her idol mm -hmm. but when you have a child like that not listening to the details of the parents there's a problem what, what, what in your opinion will be the problem obviously with a child that's not listening to their parents you know there's going to be something wrong there like their parents are a role model they tell you the right thing to do the best things for your life so a lot of teenagers that do get pregnant is you know they don't listen to their parents they're not getting listening to the advice their parents are giving them so you it's expected of them all right um some um, girls don't listen to their parents, mm. so there's a problem. Yeah. Oh. But is it all the time that, they are parent, that the parents are the good guys? Actually, no, it's not all the time, because some parents could be a bad influence on their um, children as well. Some of their some t um, teenagers, their parents had them as a teenager as well, so they will be looking at their parents as well. So. But that's not an excuse. If, it, if if a parent had a child as a teenager yeah. and it's for a good reason, that's okay. Mm -hmm. But the problem is if it's a parent that drinks, a parent that fight, parents that go to parties and not realize that their children are copying them, that's a bad thing. Yeah, it's a very bad thing. It's going to rub off their kids, obviously, and their kids are going to be watching them and seeing what they're doing and saying, oh, my parents do this, so it's okay for me to do it as well. Okay. Now, what do you think are uh, contributions to how a child grows up? Okay. I'll use, I like to use my mom as an example now. Yeah. My mom is someone that doesn't like indulging in alcohol. So that kind of influenced me as well, not to indulge in it because... So you don't drink? I don't, I do not, mm -hmm. I do not take, uh, take alcohol at all. So that kind of, even when I see my friends, when I go out sometimes and I see my friends me and my friends a couple of my friends we don't drink as well so it's like we already know the kind i know the kind of person i hang around with so it's like a good group of friends but i see some of my other friends also getting drunk and the way they act sometimes i'm like no 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 this is just 
this is this, this is, is really, not good it's not good it's really yeah. really bad so i would i wouldn't want to do something like that i wouldn't want to put myself in that same situation mm-hmm. and that's technically that's lack of respect self-respect like yeah. so i i and, wouldn't want and is uh, you would have been disappointing your parents when your parents get to know that you are doing that yes that's true but what do you think according to uh damilola how much do you think alcohol plays in influencing this people? um i do think alcohol plays a big influence like damn no, she doesn't drink but i honestly would say like i do drink sometimes when i go out with my friends you do drink yes what do you drink <laughs> <laughs> all right all right it's good to have a bit but yeah but um do, do some, you get tipsy when you drink not really no like sometimes i just get drink sometimes just loosen up because i'm a very shy person i can't talk to people at, but some people take it way too far. They drink, getting sick everywhere, falling all over. And like, that's just out of control. Like, I wouldn't get like that. So I do think drinking is a big part of it as well. Because young teenagers, when they start drinking, they get out of their minds or whatever. They don't know what they're doing. And they end up pregnant sometimes. So you should drink, but not drink to excess. Yeah, exactly. You know, you just uh, like you if know, you don't want it. to drink like that, there's that's there's a good no, thing as well. There's that's no a brilliant thing you as well. Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't. And drink if you do, to, just in moderation. Just a like, bit of it. Yeah. That's okay. Um, Damilola, a woman talked about peer pressure. How much do you think that plays in the whole thing of, you know, young girls not abiding by the rules of responsibility and morality as a young girl that is expected of them do you think their friends contribute um when it comes to prayer pressure these days i wouldn't say their friends contribute as much because when it comes down to it, yeah no matter what's going on no matter what your friend tells you it's always down to you. The opinion is down to you. You have to take responsibility for yourself because it's not your friend. Let's say your friend jumped into the fire. You can't say, oh, because my friend yeah, I'm, did. I'm going to jump into it. I, you see, that is, it always come back to you. Like, you have to have self-respect for yourself and you have to know what you're doing all the time. So I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't want to blame it on prayer pressure. But then at the same time, we we'll have to go back to with the old thing going about fashion, um, teenage pregnancy being a fashion statement now. Oh my God, that's the new one. That's the <laughs> new one. So you mean that it's now a fashion statement? It's now. I would like to say it's now because these days everyone is getting pregnant, and it's not what we would like to put out there. When you say a fashion statement, is that saying it as they want to be pregnant? That confuses me a bit. When yes, that's fashion, what that's what she's saying. That they want to get pregnant. That's as young, yeah, is it? Yeah. Some some teenagers would like to get pregnant because they say, "Oh, oh my God, that baby is so cute. I want one." Oh. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah. it would it, it, it's not meant to be like that. Mm, I get you. Yeah. But um, I heard that um, some people get pregnant because they want to get some benefits from the government. <laughs> you know about when, that? When it comes to child benefits. Not just maybe house, maybe, I don't know, whatever. But they just say, well, they want to be independent. They want to live on their own. They want to own their own house. And they think that the best way to do it is to get pregnant and then the government will give them, you know, a house. Is that part of it? The best benefit you can get is education. Mm -hmm. Education is the key. Yeah. Without education, there's nothing. Education is the future. Yeah. So you have to you have to go back to school. Like everyone, me, I'm just I'm I'm happy because I have my future all planned out. Go to college, do my honors degree, masters, PhD if possible. <laughs> so everything, you know, you have to have you have to aim high, yeah. set the goals there. Yeah. And if you have the plans already, nothing is gonna distract you from it. Yeah. So it's all about you having a plan and having looking into the future and seeing what you want and focusing yeah. um so how much does education play in this do, do you think that um young people going out there drinking falling down sleeping with people they don't even know just because they're intoxicated and they don't know what they're doing do you think they should focus more on their school work their educational capabilities trying to you know empower themselves and be role models to the junior ones and a source of joy to their parents. I totally agree with Dami here. Like education is the key to everyone's future. Like if you have a good education, people with great educations and 
know what they want in life, know what they want in their future, to have a job, to finish their masters and all. They're not the ones getting pregnant at the age of like 14, 15. They're not the ones being pregnant at teenagers. So education is the key when you know what you want to do in life, you focus on that and you won't let any other thing like drinking, drugs, all those other things get in your way making a statement that i want to get pregnant because i like the child or maybe because that celebrity just gave birth to uh, a child it shouldn't be what people should get themselves involved in mm. because of that because <clears throat> that's not facing reality yeah the reality is growing up to an age because there are three things that makes a man role recognition role expectation and societal expectation. What that means is that you grow up to a point and then you realize that you people are now you now recognize your role in the community. I need to be a student. I need to focus on my school and I need to graduate. That's one. The role expectation that your parents and you yourself, first and foremost, you yourself expect you to be able to uphold a certain degree of standard in life True. and that makes people look up to you mm. because they know the way you carry yourself because you expect yourself that for me to be happy i need to be at this state and then the societal expectation is that people seeing that oh dami is has come of age um a woman is the miss nigerian island dami is the mni miss stories in my own and they expect a certain degree of behavior from you. They don't expect you to go drinking and falling down. Nobody's saying that you shouldn't take a glass of wine. They don't expect you to go insulting people or to go on Facebook getting naked just to show people that you're beautiful mm. or insulting people on Facebook just to show that you, you carry the swag, if that's what they call it, <laughs> you know? So at the end, you should be a source and embodiment of joy to the community out there and a source of happiness to your parents and an inspiration to both the young and the old. Do you think the young girls of today, they have people they look up to that they say, I want to be like that person? Of course, everyone has someone like... Who is your own mother? Um, my mom. Oh, your mom. Yeah. So you want so. to... I know that your mom... Um, is, is still um, a popular, a well-known face in Nigeria. Let's mm. say, I guess so. So, what is it? What is that one thing that you look up to that makes you uh, look like to she, your mom as your role model? She's a hard worker, and if she wants something, she, she works hard it. to yeah. get it. Like, and that's mm. what I, I guess she's probably her, working so. right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know. that's the kind of person I want to be as well. Okay. Uh, who is your role model? I would like to say my mom is my role model because she's always been there for me when I need something. She's 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 a very hard working. Even when I said during the pageant, I said it as well that my mom is my role model. She work hard. She's a student. She's doing a masters at the moment. At the same time, she's working hard to provide for my family. So when I, I when I look at what she's doing, it makes me want to work harder. She, I don't want to. Well, say you that. know, you, you you always have to work anyway. Whether you whether you old, even when you go to school and finish, you still have to work. Yeah, but it makes me want to work harder because so that I you don't, can be of help to her. Exactly. All right. What do you think they should be doing instead of getting the zest involved in? drinking in pregnancy and antisocial different kind of antisocial behavior what do you think they should be doing i think they should be studying they should be getting into their education so they could have a better life and i think they need to be more educated i need i think like teenagers they should like be told about like what your life would be like after like if you get pregnant as a teenager like your life will completely change so i think like people should talk to them about it and say it's it's not going to be, it's going to be really hard. It's not going to be you, easy, if you easy take having this, a little if baby. If you take this road, it's going to be really difficult. Yeah. You might think, oh, I have a cute baby, oh, it's my baby, but it's really hard work to look after another person, like, even when you're still a teenager. Oh, well, that, that, that person that is meant to talk to them is somebody like you. The responsibility that mm. someone like you should take. And what do you think you can do about it? I think 
like what I just said now, talk to them and just let them know that it's not like the way you want your life to be. Some people, I, some teenagers, oh, they have it planned or whatever and or they want to have a child but still it's, it, the best road is just focus on yourself for now, go get your education and then can't worry about that. Okay. With pregnancy, it's not always the case mm. that people get pregnant because they are irresponsible. Yeah. Or sometimes pregnancy happens through other ways. Yeah. What other ways could be? In there? some cases, like not all girls that get pregnant young are like crazy drinking. Like maybe they make right decisions or they're like in education and they're studying and in school. But sometimes it just, they just some people are just unlucky and it just happens to happen to them. Yeah. So. I just wanted to say that because sometimes it's not everyone <coughs> that is crazy. Um, yeah, crazy. <laughs> uh, well, the, the the thing is, what that one means is that um, we we know that there are situations where it does happen. Yeah. But all we can advise is that people should be careful. Maybe a bit of more, a bit of awareness on how to protect themselves when. Yeah you know you are not ready for a yeah. child yet, yeah. right? So what do you think about it? Um, like you said, it's not always about going crazy, drinking, doing drugs. It could be someone might get raped. So it's not always about the bad side. At the same time, there's always like, oh, an accident. So it could be rape. Like I said before, it could be rape. So it's just about you preventing yourself, try yeah. finding a way to prevent that rape from happening. Protecting yeah. yourself. Yeah, protecting yeah. yourself. Yeah, uh, that's another thing. When people get raped, uh, don't you think when a girl f for unfortunately get raped, mm. they should go to the hospital immediately? And like get rid of the child? No, no, they, they're oh. not pregnant yet. Oh. But just get to the oh, hospital to take care of yourself. Yeah, because, of course they should. You know, some people, they get raped and you know, maybe especially in the village, they don't know that the consequences, the aftermath of that might be pregnancy. Yeah, they so, should go straight. I mean, the when there's a situation like that, I know that it's not in all cases that people want to say that, mm. that something like that has happened. Yeah. But people should, you know, immediately go privately and see medical attention mm, and true. explain to them what has happened. Even if they go to the hospital, yeah, it doesn't prevent what has already happened yeah but when See. you go to the hospital the hospital knowing that something like that has happened yeah we get you, like, we get you treated the person that raped them they could have had any kind of disease yeah like, yeah you first and foremost you check for disease the then, you find out then the the hospital immediately they know what to do to make sure that situation does not arise why when where it becomes uh, pregnancy okay. this is why the the doctors are there okay um well, that's that, that that's a good point. That uh, it's not in all cases that <coughs> people who get pregnant um, uh, uh, is seen as a bad thing. Yeah. Sometimes it could just be unlucky, and it just happened by chance. So we know that, and those are not the kind of people that we are talking about. Okay. We're talking about people who go out of their way saying, "I want to make a statement." I just want to see uh, there is something to do because other people are doing it. Or people who, instead of being in school, sneak out of the house, their houses, go to the club, get drunk, or get themselves involved in drugs and not know when they start sleeping with people. They don't even know if you are, when they have the baby, if you, have them, if you ask them who, they, who the dad is, they don't know. Okay. And sometimes, even when you sleep with these young boys, these young boys at that point, because they are high, they don't think of that, they don't think of the consequences. And when it's time, to say, okay, you are the dad. They say, no, 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 no. I don't want it. Because <laughs> they never thought about that responsibility. True. Okay. Yeah. And as a young girl, okay. that people are looking up to you. Okay. So what do you think they should be doing? What I would encourage them to do is to be aware of the consequences. Because once they are aware of it, that will pull them back into doing something they are not meant to do. So it always it comes back to being aware of the results of your consequences. Exactly. So okay. they need they need to be aware about it to know what's gonna happen if they do this if they do that. So they wouldn't do it for the next time. So 
Mm-hmm. That's about it. So if I if I ask you now yeah. to face the camera <laughs> and speak to the people, what would you tell them? Um, I would like to tell them, I would like to tell you guys to be aware of what you do. Like, always, always, always know what you're doing. Don't let nobody influence you into doing something you don't want to do. And you should always, always think about your future because the future is the key. The future is the key. Yeah. All right. Uh, woman, Dami Lola said, to the young girls, the future is the key. Mm. So what do you think is important to the young girls? Like Dami Lola said, future is the key. They should focus on their future. If you focus on your future, you know what you want in life. Just think, be safe in life and don't be pressured to do what someone else is doing or what anyone else is doing. Think of what you want in life and focus on that and just set your mind to do it. And listen to your parents. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, the people listening, viewers, ladies and gentlemen, I, this is about provoking a debate because we noticed that there's a trend. Someone said that it's a fashion statement. Now, young girls who are supposed to be in school are getting pregnant. That's unacceptable. That's not how it's supposed to be. When you grow up, when you get to an age that you don't see yourself as a teenager, nobody says you shouldn't party. Party is important to relieve some stress. But you should not do it to a fault. And when you go out, Drinking and falling down is not a way of getting respect. It's not a positive swag. You might have those group of friends that cause it swag. They are negative and positive swag. So when you indulge in that, you are destroying your life. You are making your parents unhappy. And the society look at you with scorn. So that what I think we should do is that when your parents send you to school, go to school and read your books. Make the society proud. If we don't lay a foundation now, people that will come after us are going to have to start again. And then when they see you, whether parents, brothers, auntie, or who, they're going to ask you, what did you do in your time? You won't say you didn't have opportunity because we know that there are opportunities are bound. They might be difficult, they might be challenging, but Claude Marquet said, I like this cultured hair that tests my youth. When you are faced with a difficult situation, what you do is that you bring out the best in you. You would not have the excuse that my parents did not look after me. That was why I got pregnant and dropped out of school. So we, three of us sitting down here now, we're asking you, to take the leadership position today and tell your friends that to be pregnant when you are not married and when you have no plan on how to take care of it is not the best. Focus on your education and become something in life because education, they say, is the key. Until next week, when we come your way again with another topic, that has to do with who we are. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you and God bless. God bless you.
young man is like father, like son. This is where the Nigerian smile. This young man's father was a well. 